Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, thanks for stopping by. If you follow me on Instagram, then you know that I've been battling the flu for the first week of 2024. And I'm just now getting a chance to sit down and finish up setting up my planner and getting started for the month of January in my planner. And I figured this would be a good time to pull out my camera and record what I've done so far and wrapping up everything I need to do for the month of January. So if that's something you're interested in, let's get into it. Right here is where we're going to start for today. So as you can see, my wallpaper still says Hello December. And that's because for January, I usually use my vision board for the year. So I've already put together my vision board for the year. And I'm going to use that template for my lock screen. What else I've done is I've gone in and I've written out everything that my daughter has going on for school in this yearly overview. And I've also added in the holidays that I'll have off from work here. This is my vision board for 2024. And in order to use your vision board as a screensaver, all you have to do is go to this little export icon in the right hand corner. You're gonna export the page and export it as an image. Now all I have to do is save it to my images and then I can go into my photo area and I can edit out the title bar and I'm also going to edit out the toolbar going down the side so I just have the picture of my vision board and then I can set it as my home screen. Just use the export icon here and then select set as wallpaper from the drop down. I'm also going to change the background color for my home screen because for some reason it automatically set to black. I kind of like the black but it was a little too dark when I looked at the photos on it so I'm going to go a little lighter with this goldish looking color and use that for my home screen. I also have a picture of my vision board on my home screen so I want to update that from my vision board from last year to the current one for this year. All I have to do is go into Widget Smith and add a large widget of my vision board for this year. And then I can just update this widget on my home screen to the new picture. Now I'm going to go back to GoodNotes and my planner. And the next page is my yearly goals. I've added those goals into Notion. And I've already gone ahead and planned out the month of January. I didn't create any January stickers. I used the stickers from my August sticker collection. When I went through my sticker collections, there were two quote stickers that I wanted to use for the month of January. This first one at the top, small steps every day as a reminder that little steps add up to the big changes. And then the one at the bottom, it reads, one thing I realized is that everything ends up working out sometimes even better than you imagine. Remember this when you're in a hard place or you feel like you're being challenged the most. Believe in where you are headed. And I think that's a great reminder to start the year off. Now I have not done my overview for the month of January, so I'm gonna do that really fast. The focus, the focus for the month, I'm gonna use my word for 2024. Um, during therapy, one of the things that we talked about was defining a word for the year, and I chose the word refresh. I wanna refresh my outlook on a lot of things this year. I wanna refresh the way that I've done things previously, especially from last year. Um, Last year was a rough year and I wanna take a new refreshed outlook on life in general. Now I'm just gonna add in a few goals for this month. One, I wanna drink a gallon of water a day. I wanna work out five days out of the week. I wanna read two books. I wanna do my three TikToks or reels a week and I wanna do one YouTube video a week. So those are the goals I'm setting for myself in January. And at the end of January, I'm gonna look back and we're gonna talk about how I did with these goals. I wanna to try to start holding myself accountable for my monthly goals. In this next section, I'm just adding my running list of tasks that I have to do for the month. I have to call, I have to call and schedule an appointment for my daughter to get her license this month. She turned 16 on the 23rd, I can't believe it and um just some things i need to get together for her birthday so that's what my to-do list so far is i'm also adding in the activities or habits that i want to track for the month with my reading walking water journaling and working out i've added in a couple of important dates at the bottom and now i'm just going to decorate with a few stickers not anything major this month um 
two of the stickers that I'm using, the speech little box and the circle sticker, these are the stickers that came with the planner. The circle is transparent and I'm gonna add a calendar over that. I'm also gonna add in a quote sticker from the Daily Affirmation sticker collection and I'm going to use one of the stickers from this collection. I'm gonna crop out the stars because I wanna use the stars for decoration in this little area and that's it for my monthly overview. I'm going to jump back to my dashboard section and I've added in a few sections that I want to use in my planner so far and what I did was go into my previous year planner and I just took the covers from those sections and added them in here to use in my new planner. Now we're going to have a quick book club meeting y'all because we haven't met since December and y'all don't throw me out the book club please don't kick me out but I have not finished any books since the last time that we spoke. I'm almost done with Worthy um, Jada Pickett Smith's book and I did not start the Kennedy Ryan book that I wanted to read for the month of December. Between finishing up the planners and working on everything I was doing for the planners and being sick I didn't get hardly any reading done at all for the month of December but I will be catching up this month so next time we meet I'm gonna have an update for y'all. I am adding in the 12 week year. I watched a YouTube video on this and I'm interested in seeing what this book entails and how this whole process works. So I'm gonna add that in for my January read. I'm gonna go into the old reading planner in my 2023 planner and I'm gonna pull over the Kennedy Ryan book because I plan on having that read this month too. So by the time we meet again, y'all, I'm gonna be back on it. Now the last thing I'm going to do is add in a mood board for the month of January. I'm going to include the link for it below if you would like to use this mood board for anything. That pretty much includes everything I needed to wrap up for January and getting started in my planner. I'm officially ready for 2024. One of my goals for this year is to be consistent with my content, especially my YouTube videos. I want to get those out on a scheduled basis. So even though this video is late, we got it done. All right, y'all. Till next time.